China is now back on track with their most amazing innovation. Even in times of testing, this country still continues to embrace the importance of what modern technologies have to offer for the betterment of the country. As a result, no matter what kind of challenges China is in right now, technological innovation and development is still ongoing. Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Arthur and welcome back again to our channel. And now before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and smash the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. No matter how hard the circumstances China is in right now, they are already back with their amazing innovation and advancement. And with this being said, here we go with our video. Number 1. Power Grid Projects Fully Resume Work Across China As the outbreak situation continued to improve in China, more than 3,000 power grid projects across the country except Hubei province, the epicenter of the epidemic, had resumed work, according to the latest data released by the State Grid Corporation of China. The operative projects so far include a total of 3,205 power transmission and transformation projects and 33 pump storage power projects under construction in China outside of Hubei. Number 2. China's new manned submersible completed deep sea testing. China's new manned submersible finished deep sea testing in South China Sea. The manned submersible is named Shanghai Yoshi or Deep Sea Warrior. It reached a depth of 4,500 meters. All of its core components were domestically made. The submersible Shanghai Yongshi conducted 62 dives. Scientists succeeded in retrieving it in a variety of conditions, including stormy waves and during the night. Number 3. China's first VR theme park opened in Southwest China. If you are tired of the traditional amusement parks, maybe you can come to Southwest China's Guizhou province to experience something different, as the country's first virtual reality theme park has opened here. China's first virtual reality theme park, the Oriental Science Fiction Valley, opened in the southwestern province of Guizhou. Dozens of sci-fi attractions provide visitors with a unique virtual experience. Number 4. China's homegrown robot helps with scoliosis surgery. A 14-year-old girl suffering from scoliosis received robot-assisted surgery in North China's Liaoning province. The robot Tinavi or Tianji in Chinese is the world's only orthopedic robotic system 
that is able to carry out surgeries on the extremities, pelvic fractures, and the whole spinal segment. The robot acts as an assistant to the surgeons. Number 5. China's Mega Energy Production Base Resumes Operation Ningdong Energy and Chemical Industry Base in China's Ningxia is one of China's major energy production bases. Due to the outbreak, production at the base had been suspended. The employees at the base are gradually returning to their positions. Ningdong Energy Production Base is home to 151 companies with a total 81,000 employees. Number 6. Chinese nuclear power plant sets world record. Lingao Nuclear Power Plants Unit 1 in South China's Shenzhen City has been running smoothly without unplanned interruptions since 2005. It's part of the Daya Bay nuclear power plant base that started its commercial operation in 1994 and has been operating safely and steadily ever since. Number 7. Cutting-edge robots showcased at World Robot Conference in Beijing. Various cutting-edge robotic technologies and products displayed at the World Robot Conference in Beijing, according to conference organizers. The conference assembled nearly 200 guests from 22 countries and featured a series of exhibition areas for new technologies and products, such as medical robots, multi-leg robots, and smart logistics, said the official of Chinese Institute of Electronics. Number 8. Chinese firm first business skyscraper in Egypt's new capital. China's State Construction Engineering Corporation has finished the capping of the first skyscraper in the 20 tower business district that it is building in Egypt's new administrative capital some 50 km east of Cairo. The iconic tower is expected to be the tallest skyscraper in Africa upon completion. Number 9. Third CIIE Introduced Public Health Exhibitors 
The third edition of the China International Import Expo introduced new topics such as public health, organic food, and non-bank finance for the first time in the history of the expo, according to the organizer. The CIIA Bureau released the list of the first batch of exhibitors and simultaneously sent it to purchasers all over the country to help exhibitors and buyers connect as soon as possible. And that's all for now. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. If you have something to say about this video, please leave some comment below. Once again, this is Arthur. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.